All right, guys, so all your favorite tech reviewers out there have got a sneak peek on the iMac Pro. However, us normal, real reviewers in the world have to go to the Apple Store themselves and I've loaded up this SSD with a real project and I'm going to be seeing how fast that Mac actually goes. Not fake. As you can see, unfortunately, you can't play 4K projects which have any title screens or overlays. They will stall the playback. You'll need to either do background processing or switch over to proxy. The version I was using is the 8-core version, 32GB RAM and Vega 56. Just tested out the iMac Pro and unfortunately, those little generator bits are still choppy. And this is um, not even optimized, it's optimized for better performance, but it's not proxy. So no matter what, you're going to have to be using proxy if you want to be using those title screens. Good news though is converting MP4s to proxy is a lot faster. It's actually three times faster than on my current MacBook Pro from 2016. This eight and a half minute 4K file took only two and a half minutes to fully proxify. What's interesting to note is um, the activity monitor show that Final Cut was using 800% of processing power, which leads to eight cores. So if you did have more cores, I assume the transcoding would go faster. With RAM, it was using minimal RAMs for this project. So you'll only need a lot of RAM to avoid those memory leak issues that you get in Final Cut. For example, if you have a project up and running for a few hours, you usually need to shut down Final Cut and reopen it so it can clear out the memory. So if you wanted to be a bit bang for buck, you could always switch over to a 32 gigabytes RAM, up the core count to 10, make sure you've got Vega 64 and you'll have a beast of a machine. It still won't be able to play 4K video files with overlays, unfortunately. Very, very sad. I, I really wished that those reviewers you see on the internet would have told you that. They make it out like everything runs smooth. It doesn't. In the meantime, as you can see, I've got a Mac Pro from 2010 over to my right side. I've beefed it up with a a Sapphire graphics card and upgraded it to a 6-core Xeon processor. If you're interested in that story, make sure you hit that subscribe button to find out what's going on. I also am very, 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 very tempted to get myself an iMac Pro. And uh, it's actually on order. I just haven't cancelled it yet. <laughs> Every day I think I should. Way too expensive. It's, it's, it's worth it, but I just know that in a year's time it's going to lose half its value. So thanks for watching as always, guys, and... Happy New Year.